It is said that the mountains of Magindanao hold many secrets, but there were new ones it couldn't keep for long. More than 50 bodies were recovered here after being massacred on Monday in broad daylight. Bullet-ridden and mutilated, many were female members of the political Mangudadatu family and their supporters. The rest were journalists. Allegedly behind the bold attack is a powerful rival family with close ties to the current administration. The Ampa twins. Well, we can say that they are probably the last of the barbarians. Speaking exclusively to Al Jazeera, this man claims he was working for the primary suspect, Andal Ampatuan Jr. Ampatuan Jr. denies any involvement in the killings. Datu Andal himself said it. He told us that any and all of the Mangu Dadatu clan, even women and children, should be killed. We don't ask why, we just follow orders. Boy says he had no choice, that he was present at the massacre but couldn't participate. He didn't stop it either. He lived within Ampatuan's fiefdom, and it's just the way things are. But it's exactly that long-standing cycle of fear and violence that the grieving Ismail Mangududatu says he wants to break. His wife and over 20 other relatives died while on their way to filing his candidacy papers against Ampatuan Jr. in next year's provincial polls. I am decided to run for governor, and no one can compel me not to run for governor because I want to reform. Three days later than their Muslim tradition dictates, the Mangududatus are finally able to put their loved ones to rest, and they have vowed not to avenge the deaths. Instead, they hope their loss will mean the region's other secrets can no longer remain buried. The lawlessness, they say, that's only whispered about, the proliferation of illegal weapons, and the impunity with which crimes are committed. For many of the residents here in the Philippines' troubled south, death has become a way of life, and power is equal to the number of guns you own. They feel there's a desperate need for change, but that the only way to do that is to have a complete overhaul of the political culture. And the problem is, they don't think any of the nation's leaders are up to that challenge. My conscience can't take it. That innocent civilians were killed. It's too much. The horns of those Ampatuans should be cut off. All of them are evil. Those people are demons. They kill without mercy. In nearby morgues, bystanders file past the numerous other victims as the nation continues to reel in shock at the brazen murders. Every action the government takes now is being closely scrutinized by its opponents. Elections are coming up and critics wonder if the administration can truly bring about justice and possibly have to turn against one of their own or find a way to whitewash what's being called an unprecedented national nightmare. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Maguindanao, Southern Philippines.